So let's uh, you know start with the frostbite over here. Okay, so frostbite means basically the ice crystals are forming inside the tissue of the patient, right? So ice crystals are forming inside the tissue, right? So ice crystals are formed in tissue and they are causing the membrane injury in the patient, right? So ice crystals are forming in the tissue, right? Because why the frostbite is happening? In a very cold climate right in those areas where the co uh, climate is very very cold right let's say minus 10 degree minus 20 degree minus 30 degree okay these kind of climate so if the person will be if the person tissues body tissue will be exposed to that uh, lethal environment for a very long period of time then it might cause a frostbite of that particular part of the tissue right how the frostbite is actually looking like so this is a picture of showing the frostbite okay so here we can see how the frostbite looks okay this is a picture as you can see over here blister formation can be seen right these are the actually vesicles these 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 are the vesicles actually which can be seen in the patient okay these are the vesicles which can be seen in the patient and then we shall talk about the grading of the frostbite as well right the grading of the frostbite as well and uh, here we shall discuss about the grading also so this is the grading of frostbite so here also we shall talk about the stage 1 2 3 4 right so over here the first stage is called as the frost nip then we are having a second stage third stage and the fourth stage in the first stage only the partial skin freezing is there as you can see in this image right in the second stage full thickness skin freezing can be can be seen so thickness will be increasing now and over here you can see the numbness uh, might be there and you can see the edema might be presenting for four to six hours Right? and the blisters can be seen within 6 to 24 hours basically in the stage 1 of the frostbite that is called as the frost nip you will be seeing the hyperemia only right second thing in the second stage you will be seeing the vesicles are developing on also right vesicles are developing some of the skin loss can be there from there in the third stage you will be seeing that uh, you know the tissue loss actually started in the third stage right tissue loss and the hemorrhagic vesicles can be there we'll zoom this image you can see the vesicles and inside that there might be the blood as well hemorrhagic vesicles might be there so you can see the hemorrhagic blisters can be there that is the keyword over here over here the normal blister normal vesicles can be there here the hemorrhagic blisters can be there in the fourth stage you can see the black SHR formation as you can see over here these kind of patients might need the amputation as well because gangrene might have been developed and we need to amputate that particular affected area of that particular flow spite okay